Say on streets. Our streets. Say on streets. Our and made it. Right. Made it. Whose streets? Our streets. the episode of ends podcast in this podcast episode we're going to be covering the definition of what is REITs and then we're going to be co- uh going over how I got invested into the real estate market you feel me at a very 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 cheap price you feel me because you know this is ends and we talk about making the most out of your current circumstance man everybody got their own way with getting into you know these different various markets i know a lot of people who think about getting into the real estate market me myself in particular i kind of stumbled across this and did not know exactly that this was exactly what i was doing you feel me until i looked up that this was an actual term and this looked up that this was an actual process that some people do actually actually take when it comes down to building their portfolios so as y'all will see you feel me in previous episodes i am invested into you know various companies and i started investing into stock um and just started you know started investing i started sharing you know and i've been sharing my investment you know process and testimonies and stories along this whole path um pulled up right now we on bullbaggers.club and we got the definition of what is REITs uh so REIT means real estate investment trust um by definition a real estate investment trust is a company that owns operate or finance incoming producing real estate REITs provide all investors the chance to own valuable real estate present the opportunity to access dividends based income and total returns and help communities grow thrive and revitalize quote quoted from REIT.com so um <clears throat> uh these type of companies in particular uh are companies like new york mortgage trust uh that is one company in particular that the first company i invested into which i didn't even realize that that was a company that i was uh i mean that that's what i was actually doing and i'm uh you know i'm gonna paste that on here and then we gonna go to that real fast and i'm gonna pull that up for y'all you know shout out to robin hood um uh, this is actually on my Robin Hood account. So we don't go over, go over into like, you know, uh, last month, not even the last day. Cause you know, it's on the weekend. So we ain't really talk about after hours trains. So, <clears throat> you know, this New York mortgage trust, uh, over the last month, as y'all see, it's been steadily increasing, especially as we start to move through this whole coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. But I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. We gonna scroll down a little bit till we go down to all right so the first time i bought this so i, I bought multiple different shares you feel me so it's ends making the most of your current circumstance we're gonna keep it all at 100 the first time i bought some shares um i bought three shares at a dollar 23 and i spent three dollars and 68 cent buying into the actual real estate market. that's crazy right and then we fast forward like almost a month later, I buy, I invest even more shares. But this time, you feel me? The shares are going for $2.04 a share. Excuse me. So you almost see, I mean, so you pretty much see an 81 cent increase. You feel me? Like an 81 cent increase and in a whole month of what the actual share value was just from owning it. So when I tried to go buy more, you feel me? I had to pay a little bit more per share. So, you know, on, on, on sites like um, on sites like uh, Robinhood, they pretty much show you the dividends payout uh, earnings uh, quarterly and what they were previously in the past. So I'm already uh, 
so if the stock is already going up, you know, stuff like that. Um, they dividends, they recent dividends pay out. Uh, they don't have the one, the, the first quarter for 2020 yet updated, but it's roughly around 20 cent. Sometimes it falls below and rise back up to about 20 cent. But if you only paid a dollar for it, shoot, can't knock the hustle. <laughs> like, so and I told y'all one of my, um, one of my portfolio building strategies, especially when we talk about stock and investing was going after dividends, uh, those companies that bring, you know, that pay you out, um, in the terms of what Nipsey also would say, mailbox money, where you get that dividend, that residual income back. And one thing to also know, I am not a financial advisor, so I am not trying to influence you. I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm not telling you what to do or how to spend your money. I'm just giving you my opinion and giving you some tools and resources as far as definitions and stuff like that um that i'm 